Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. While Teresa contemplates leaving Salem, an anxious John frightens Marlena and drinks from a mug at home. Come on, he snarls. What's everything mean? He rests back on the lounge chair and shuts his eyes. Marlena emerges and taps him. Frightened, John bounces up in a compromising position. Outside the bar, Maggie requests to know why Steve was going to go after Constantine. Steve informs her that Constantine is there to exploit her. He won't hold on and watch her get injured. While she values his anxiety, Maggie is offended that Steve accepts she's that innocent. She didn't listen when individuals cautioned her about Victor, and she's not listening now. At the jail, a smarmy Clyde plays with Harris, who realizes the convict is behind the medications. Harris won't stop until he considers him responsible. Clyde cautions him about making guarantees he can't keep. Look what befell unfortunate Lucas Horton, he growls. More, Eric Martzolf discusses Tate, Teresa, and the kiss between Brady and Teresa. Alex gets back to the condo with espresso and baked goods with perfect timing to see Teresa kissing Brady. What on earth? Humiliated, Teresa demands the kiss is all on her, not Brady, in view of the medications. Yet, she needs to accompany Alex and just Alex. She begs him to forgive her and then weeps over her failure to succeed Tate and her loss of sobriety for years. Brady realizes she'll recuperate for her family, for Tate, and for herself. She vows to go to a gathering and get a support. She will never again disappoint Brady and Tate. John apologizes to Marlena at the penthouse for scaring her. She is aware that she ought to become more accustomed to his abrupt movements. She notes he didn't rest the previous evening and asks what has him so disturbed. John says he's recently concerned regarding Tate and Brady. Marlena communicates more concern, yet John urges her to go to work. John's face tightens after she leaves. More, recalling James Mitchell's notorious, detestable Palmer Cortland. Holding Marlena's jaw, John kisses her while sitting on the sofa. Outside the bar, Maggie reminds Steve that he turned his life around previously, so for what reason mightn't he at any point accept Constantine's changed? Steve brings up that he and Victor turned out to be better men on account of Kayla and Maggie. However, Constantine has a plan. Maggie again shields Constantine, however it's truly not Steve's concern. Steve cautions her to exercise caution. I won't let this go, he says prior to leaving. Marlena runs into Eric with Jude in the recreation area. He conveys his regret for the dinner party. Sloan simply needed to establish a decent connection and had a beverage to quiet her nerves. Marlena inquires as they move to the square for coffee if Sloan drinks frequently. Eric responds, not that night. Marlena says there's no requirement for her to be humiliated on the grounds that she and John comprehend. Moreover, she's family now. Afterward, Eric shares that he's refreshed his photography socials and site and found two or three lines of work. More, does Cap bite the dust in the Manor home season debut? With Jude's buggy close to him, Eric finds a seat at a table in the square with Marlena. At the condo, a humiliated Teresa despises that Alex needed to see her along these lines. Alex isn't passing judgment on her, yet he is concerned. Brady tells Teresa to rely on him, Alex, or Maggie the next time she feels like this, promising not to tell Tate or anyone else about it. At the point when he leaves, a close-to-home Teresa tells Alex she'll comprehend to end things. Outside the bar, Maggie apologizes to Constantine for Steve's provocation, contemplating whether Salem is the best spot for him. Constantine has become attached to Salem and isn't prepared to bid farewell. He'll be fine however long Maggie continues to pay special attention to him. She informs Constantine that she will meet Brady again at the mansion when she sees Brady enter the pub. Steve comes to John's place, taking in his rough appearance. John reports he's having bad dreams he can't recollect and sentiments he can't shake. Yet, anything that his brain is telling him, it's bad. Steve talks about the unpleasant encounter he had with Maggie and Constantine. 
John suggests that they back off to avoid further alienating Maggie. Also, assuming they give Constantine distance, however feed him enough rope, he could possibly hang himself. Steve consents to the arrangement and urges John to get some rest. More, in the day's promo, Everett confesses in front of Steve, and John, looking perplexed, places a hand on his creased forehead. At home, Alex tells Teresa he doesn't need out, yet it seemed like she simply required Brady. Without him, Teresa doesn't know if she would have been able to get through it. Alex inquires as to whether she actually cares deeply about him. Although Teresa claims that he is the father of her son and comprehends her addiction, their relationship is limited to that. She has no heartfelt affections for him any longer. The kiss was careless, rash, and a huge mistake. At the jail, Clyde owns up to Harris that the general purpose of the assault on Lucas was to communicate something specific external Statesville. Clyde has a message for Harris now that he is present here, concentrate somewhere else. As an independent person, Harris contemplates whether Clyde truly needs to come after somebody with nothing to lose. Clyde knows there's no less than one individual he thinks often about. Would it be a good idea for them they get injured, Harris would have nobody yet himself to fault. Harris cautions on the off chance that Clyde comes after somebody he thinks often about it will be the last thing he at any point does. Clyde grins. More, secret ahead for Johnny and Chanel? Inside the bar, Maggie lets Brady know that Alex filled him in about Teresa. Stressed she'll backslide once more, Brady recommends moving her into the penthouse to watch out for her. Maggie is concerned that Brady may be put in danger by the stress of assisting Teresa. She'll connect with Teresa and enroll Steve and Kayla would it be a good idea for her she really want extra help. At the condo, Teresa inquires as to whether he confides in her. On the off chance that he doesn't, she figures she ought to move out. Perhaps return to California and get herself to a superior spot until she can see Tate. More, Elia Kanta gives a sneak peek at the explosive plot of Jada. In his mansion room, Constantine takes a painted card out of his notebook. I had absolutely no point ever figured I would see you in the future, pawn, he secretively says. At home, John draws back after tasting from his mug. He inquisitively respects it and glances around while wringing his hands. At the Brady bar, Steve does a shot and signals for another. Damn it, elderly person, he murmurs. Is it really possible? At the Kiriaki's house, Constantine expresses, eventually, and laughs to himself. On the following episode of Days of Our Lives, Stephanie receives an unexpected request for assistance, and Paulina's diagnosis sends her spiraling downward. Days of Our Lives currently solely airs on Peacock. To ensure you never miss an episode, buy into Peacock. If it's not too much trouble, note that assuming you buy something by tapping on a connection inside this story, we might get a little commission of the deal. Why are Tate Black and Holly Jonas both missing for days? Days of Our Lives is known for its super couples. Some have been on the material for a really long time. In any case, a significant number of them began when they were scarcely out of their youngsters. All cleansers should be creating youthful characters even as they put resources into their veterans. Additionally, Holly Jonas and Tate Black were and remain an extremely promising couple on days. So what was the deal? Mass allure. Ashley Puzimus as Holly get to find out about her here, and Jamie Martin Mann as Tate are both engaging youthful entertainers. They have science with one another and, all the more significantly, with the entertainers who played their relatives. Rather than pushing Tate and Holly's insta-love down our throats, Days presented them gradually. We saw Holly with her mother, Nicole, and with her stepbrother, Johnny on whom she had an improper squash. We saw Tate clash with Mother Teresa and Father Brady as they attempted to sort out some solution for Tate getting expelled from all-inclusive school, simultaneously as Tate had a hotter relationship with Granddad John and Grandmother Marlena, Deidre Lobby. Since individuals we adored cherished Holly and Tate, we were developing to cherish Holly and Tate. But now...